5 a.m., guys, another beautiful day at the Elliott Residence. It's a beautiful day with our friends in the neighborhood. We're just out here doing legendary shit, just making shit happen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yesterday I spoke for 12 hours straight. Okay, we probably closed a million dollars in revenue, changed a lot of lives, had a great life. But before that happened, we woke up, we cold plunged, we started our day, we mentally programmed ourselves to be differently than all these fucking robots out here. That's the key, right? I'm telling you, if you want a different life, you gotta reprogram yourself. And the biggest thing is, is that you guys all have an identity, right? Who you think you are will determine the life you get. And this will be the hardest thing I had to teach you. Who you think you are will determine the life you build. The life you have now is because who you think you are. Does that make sense? Like the life you have, the relationship you have, the money you have, the body fat you have, the friendships you have, it's all because of who you think you are. And once I thought that I could be to somebody different, then I just started to reprogram my mind. I started to reprogram my identity. Even if I taught you a new behavior today, you wouldn't change if your identity didn't change. So anyways, this morning, I just want you guys to go to our morning routine. That's it, is that cool? Yes, sir. Okay, so we got two cold plunges. Let's run two at a time. We'll do three and a half minutes on each cold plunge. And then we got a hot tub here if you want to get in, or you got Arizona sun. You got a pool? And then we'll all enjoy, you got coffee, you got snacks, get some food in you. And then at eight o'clock, we'll go to the den, we'll work out. Let's go! Cool? Dude, listen, I literally said, like, I'm gonna start this new life. And when I did, everybody put a box on me on like, like they have you pegged, right? Like if you go home, everybody will say, I know who he is. Yeah. And so when you go outside of that box, that boundaries that, that they put on you, and really boundaries that I put on me, I was going outside of them also. And I thought I would get support from people that, you know, were my boys and my people and my family. And all they did was make fun of me. So I just said, fuck everybody. I blocked everybody. Me and my wife sold our house. And uh, literally sold all our furniture. Went and slept on mattresses on the floor. Rent got a rent house. Went to war. Started making content every day. I was like, this social media deal is going to take us somewhere someday. I was like, I know I'm good at sales. I just got to do it long enough. Either... We're gonna be broke and living out of a box, or we're gonna make it. And we fucking made it. And everybody makes it. Everybody makes it who don't quit. I always say people are either running towards a life they want or running from a life they hate. And I was running from a life I hate. So the God of this generation is comfortable. It's a God. People are comfortable. Got a decent house, got a decent car, my marriage isn't that bad. I'm doing better than most of my friends. That's fucking poison. And I was always doing better than most of my friends. I was always doing this and that, but also I didn't have anybody around me pushing me. And the people that were pushing me weren't good people to push you. You know, you'll learn today, like me and Jackie, we're a power couple. And like, I needed her support and I didn't need anyone else's. I just need her. A woman can, look, the one thing that'll ruin a man's life is the wrong woman. I mean, bad, bad guy will ruin a woman's life. But like a woman, right, like, I mean, you married? Okay. If you, and I know this sounds weird, but some people may say, I, I don't agree with that. But that's why we're all built different. If my wife was like, hey, um, or if, if you were like, hey, I'll give you a million cash, or my wife was to say, hey, hey, come here, babe, I'm proud of you. You did a good job. You're killing it. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. I love what you're doing. I'm super proud of you. I would rather have that than a million. I love it. There's all these people that I want to prove wrong in my life, all these people that f***ing bet against me, all these people that laughed at me when I started, and so I'm just burning their f***ing eyes out. I'm just torturing them. I love it. I mean, and I'm not 
I'm not talking to them. I just know that I'm making sure that they're seeing what the f I'm doing. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna burn, I'm, just, I'm gonna torture them, you know, torture your haters with success. But I wanna, those people bet against me, but she bet on me. When I f***ed everything up, she didn't leave my side. So I wanna make it up to her now. You know, I ran her through hell. You know, and she never left me. Yeah. Well, number one, not like she never left me. Like, she fucking, like, she was by my side the whole time. I almost went to jail. I was running the wrong people. And just bad decisions with bad, with wrong people. And she was like, dude, I'll fucking fight by your side every second. I swear to God, I'll be with you every second of your life until you die. And so I just went crazy. And so now, I believe in this, like, every day get better deal. And, like, people say it. You know, hey, get better every day. No, we're fucking, yeah. Like, dude, killing off the old Jew, and we'll talk about it today, but killing off the old Jew is, is, the, is the best thing that I've become good at. So, like, every day, it's like, we, like, when you put your back against the wall, and you, like, put all the chips on the table, and you go all in on you, like, you get dangerous really quick. That's awesome. Like, so cool. Uh, <laughs> Most of you guys have been here before, right? Some of you guys know? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey, how about we do this? We're going to work out, but why don't I just show you guys the property real quick, and then we'll work out. Our guys will go back to work. We'll work out, and then we'll head back to the house. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, I'll lead. Andy, doing a tour? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so this place will hold about 500 people. I mean, we always oversell all tickets by 100 people. Our next five events are already all sold out. We're building out on this corner. We're building the Elliott Army Event Center. It'll hold 2,500 people. It's two oh, stories. Man. But the biggest thing is, this, our live game, our face-to-face -face game, is our best game. You know, like, we do digital training. So we have 500,000 people that are on our training system. We have 10,000 companies. But then, this is our favorite game. These chairs, if I can get someone in one of these chairs, I'll change their whole life. Yeah. If I can get them for a day, they're done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially if they want to change, right? If somebody don't want to change, you're not going to do matter, it. Yeah. We make it really cool. So we have the cafeteria, we have this, and then the sales floor is upstairs. So it's 70,000 square feet is this, is this building, but we've just outgrown it. Mm -hmm. And this just isn't big enough, right? But the main deal is if you go to, like, a, a casino and you rent out a 2,000-person deal, dude, it's like you can't bring in your own drinks, you can't bring in this, you got to buy their stuff, you got to do this. And we yell. Hate, yeah, you can't yell. That ain't gonna work. You, you oh. can't really you're have out. rules. You're, right? you're out right now. Yeah. Um, you know, when it's over, it's over. Everybody's got to get out. Yeah. So, you know, after our events, I mean, people will hang out here for five hours. I mean, dude, the brotherhood is built. I'm truly building a real brotherhood. I mean, like, it's, it's, I mean, it's a cult, basically, for greatness. It's, it's like a ministry. I mean, if you love God's work, right? It's just creating good people that do good works. And like, people leave here and they have a bigger vision than their own life. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they come here to say, everybody, the, the trick is we say, come here, we're going to teach you to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And then they come in here, we just teach them to be good people. Mm -hmm. And like win and not mm -hmm. quit and be good examples. And so anyways, it's just really cool. And But we'll move up to the sales floor and then we'll go work out. Is that cool? Most of the time, there'll be 50 people in the parking, parking lot with their shirts off, sure. just walking around like this, <laughs> just closing deals. Just closing deals. <laughs> just closing deals. And it's just... That's what we do. I mean, you can drive by on the street and everybody's like, dude, or there's 10 people working out. Mm -hmm. but, but so they're there, they're here, they're here, but really everybody starts here and then they just, boom, they break out. And by the way, we don't babysit anybody. There's no bosses in this company. So like, even though there's ownership, we all own this company. I pay my guys really well, everybody has a good percentage. Everybody can make as much money as they want. We change people's lives. It's all their own businesses. We just, all of us together are like, you're dangerous when you're in a real a community of people that are badasses. Anybody can be great on their own, but being great, like uh, we have a, a whole group of alphas that are here. 
and everybody's super loving to each other, super supportive, super awesome. We push the shit out of each other, but like, it's cool. And there's girls, there's guys. I mean, you know, our girl, our wives all come up here all the time. They work. I mean, you, 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 you'll see kids. You know what I'm saying? Like kids are up here all the time. Anytime you come up here, there's like 20 kids running around. And like, everybody loves kids. So, but anyways, but, um, but so this is one of our areas. This is me and Jackie's office, but uh, it's here. And then you come over here, there's uh, Jesse, don't be acting like you're working. Don't be acting like you're working, Jesse. Don't be bullshit, Jesse. Jesse's pretend working is bullshit, Jesse. And then we're, we're, we're building a, uh, a charter school in the back, right, right now. We're building four buildings. Elliott Army Event Center. We're building Bradley's building on the front, and we're building two more buildings, podcast, big podcast studio, and then we're building a uh, charter school in the back. So our kids all go to school right now. There's my other daughter, my other daughter, and then my son's at home, because he said he was sick. And then as soon as he woke up, he's like, Dad, can we ride the electric bike? I'm like, I thought you were sick. He's like, oh yeah, I am sick. I'm like, right. You think your brother's sick? No, that's See? Uh, she, she knows. I want to run us through something real quick on how we start our day. So everybody kind of back up a little bit. Back up this way. First, before we start today, everybody get like turn to your neighbor and give us some good morning high fives and hugs. Yeah. High fives! Hugs! Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Hey, turn to your neighbor and say be a beast today, not be a, a little beast. bit. Be a beast. Be a beast. If you look at our core values, we put God above everything. So before we start the day out, we're going to do a little 30-second sales meeting, and then we're going to get to work. But let's give Pastor Adam a round of applause. Yeah. Adam, why don't you lead us through the prayer? And then, Adam, why don't you light us up with the sales warrior creed that God Whoa. himself and yeah. bring the heat. Yeah. Lead us through a prayer first. Yeah. Lead us through a prayer. And then hit us with the sales warrior creed, Adam. All right, guys. You can do it. Uh, God, just uh, let's acknowledge God. Father God, I just thank you for bringing us here today. Yes. Truly, we have a leader. We've been all over this world, all over this country, and everybody's starving for leadership and to see yeah, God come smart. out in men. And Lord, you have united us here in this place, not so that we would just be people who are looking for monetary, but we want our families, we want our teams, we want our life to matter in this time in history, Lord. Thank you for your blood on the cross. Thank you for this Elliot group that is uh, not afraid to stand up and say, we're going to put God first. God, thank you for what you're doing in this country and for today. Change our lives like never before. Thank you for Andy. Thank you for Jacqueline. Thank you for this team and for this brotherhood that's being established. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hey. Let's go! Right. One, two, three. I am an elite sales warrior! I am an elite sales warrior! I will destroy my competition! I will destroy my competition! I walk and talk like a warrior! I walk and talk like a warrior! Success trends, failure complaints! Success trends, failure complaints! Hey guys, if you're watching this video and you're like, damn Andy, I need to go do some cool stuff with you. Our life is amazing. Listen guys, there's gonna be a link below. All you gotta do is go down and click on it. Literally fill out some information. I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Every single year, I watch people that just stay the same year after year. If you wanna change your life, you gotta get in proximity of great people. If you like me, if you like what I stand for, if you wanna kick ass, we're growing fast. I'd love to have you come with me. Click on the link below. Let's get together.
Some of you guys may think making a lot of money is cool. Here's what I'll tell you. There's no difference between four million and a hundred million. I'm just gonna let you know. There's no difference. You're gonna buy a couple cars. You're gonna get your house. You're gonna be able to not have to balance your checkbook anymore because you can buy food. And now what? We're gonna go on vacation? I don't know, man. I mean, we really don't need much, right? So at the end of the day, me and Jackie are broke people with money. So making more money doesn't really mean anything, but it's, it, it, it's, it's a scoreboard, right? You know what I'm doing? I'm doing what I was never, that I never believed I could do, and I'm doing it now, and I'm obsessed with it, and I'm addicted. And if you guys want to really become alive, like, and I'm not even joking, right? It's going to be really hard for me to pull your brain out of the money-making side and then get you to become this and then tell you that if you can become this, it's going to make you a ton of money. And so in 2019, right? And it's crazy because John's over here, but John knew me in Oklahoma, right? And by the way, I don't talk about Oklahoma. I don't like that, Andy. When people talk to me, like the gym we used to go to, the things we used to do, I'm like, dude, I almost don't even want to talk about it <laughs> because I don't like that guy. I don't like who he was. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? And by the way, some of you in here making a couple million is going to be really cool. It's going to be an awesome life. I was 18 years old. I was broke. I worked my way up to making seven, 800 grand a year selling cars. And then I worked my way to making two to two and a half million as a GM. I'm making good money, man. Life's good. You know what happened? My marriage, although it was better than most, me and her were never, ever, we weren't 1% as close as we are right now. Not 1%. Dude, me being in shape was always something important to me. When I was younger, all I wanted to do was go to the gym, but I had to work from 7 a.m. to 11 at night. He had Arnold Schwarzenegger all over his house. Yeah, I always wanted to go to the gym, but I just didn't have time. So it was a dream for me to be able to take care of myself. But all the leaders that were around me, notice what I said, all the leaders that were around me, they were like, dude, you gotta work hard now and then you can get in shape later. That's fucking bullshit. Society no, no, but that's that. the way it works. Listen to me, some of you guys aren't in that good of shape in here and you're like, yeah, I know, I need. you're not even in that good of shape. Okay, so you're not even listening yet, all right? Like there is elite shape, there's being an elite husband, there's being an elite father, there's being an elite leader, it's there's really level. an elite relationship with yourself and then there's this one thing that really I wanted to be elite in. And, and when somebody says something to you, you don't really know what you're looking for until someone says it and you're like, that's it. And I'm gonna tell you something, listen to me. What does that mean? That means my intentions changed when I saw that. My whole life, I wanted to make money. All the money fell through my fingers. I was never present when I was at home. I was never present when I was at home with my family because I was always thinking about being back at work because I had to be ahead. I never thought I could have this and have that. You know, honestly, I love my kids. I would tell everybody I'm doing everything for my kids, but like, I wasn't really interested in what they were doing. I wanted them to be interested in what I was doing. I was like very like limited on my thinking. Um, dude, my health, dude, guys, I was not in good shape. Nobody was walking up to me and going, oh man, I wanna be in good shape like you, or oh, I wanna be like you. I never had one person tell me they wanna be like me. 39 years old, I made all these changes. And anyway, so total recreation. Today is about total recreation. But you were, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you were at the time, like you were so lost and unfulfilled. And we think about it, like he was, he was so, he had that itch inside of him that he wanted to do more, but he really didn't know how. And he was going through a very like stressful state and a lot of people like have, and we don't, I mean, obviously it exists, but we don't believe in like being like, like overly stressed or like having all this anxiety and all this stuff because we are like, okay, hey, we don't get to that point. Like we know how to control it. But he was, had massive amounts of anxiety. Mm -hmm. He was getting brain was making scans. Myself sick. He was thinking that he had a tumor or something. We went and we took him in and it was like, he was physically, you know, his health was deteriorating just because his mind wasn't letting him, you know, figure out what it is that he wanted to do. He had an itch. So a lot of people have an itch and they're, they're like really, really stressed out and they really don't know what to identify it with. And I'm like, that's a million dollar question. How can I be happy, right? How can I find fulfillment in life? And what we've discovered is that we found for fulfillment in life, setting big goals and touching them and, and, and getting there, even though they're BHAGs, even though it was so hard to accomplish and hit, and we set them and we happen to reach them. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, that was impossible. And then we said another one and another one and another one. And all of a sudden that's how you take over the world. But it's crazy. You find fulfillment off of that, that that you thought was stress, you know, and all that stuff that you think is like so much work is like the stuff that you need to find that fulfillment and find like you're growing. Yeah, it's like, you know how your body, you can be allergic to something and at a certain age you keep taking it and you're getting sick, but really you're just eating something that you're allergic to now. Mm -hmm. And once you cut that out, you're healthy again. 
Dude, your mind, and if you guys open this book, the first thing it says, the, the warrior's most deadliest weapon is his mind. Mm -hmm. And so everything starts with each and every one of you in here. And so the first thing is your mind. You must detox and declutter your mind. You have to. Listen, in order to get your new life, you have to kill off your old one, okay? All your negative victim shit, when, when somebody does something you don't like, is it because you're mad at them because they did something that like was against the standard or is it because they said something that was the truth and it fucking pisses you off? Okay, like we got to understand winners look in the mirror and own everything. Losers get upset, get mad and give away the power to change something. This mind, this, your whole body interacts with your mind. Your mind's the most important thing in the world. And I'm going to tell you this. The first thing the devil wants is he wants to fucking kill your mind. Every day he wants to kill your mind. Dude, I promise you, man, he makes people commit suicide. He makes people threaten divorce during fights. He, make, he makes people, you know, get mad at their kids. You know, he, he makes people do all kinds of shit. Dude, he makes people lose their greatest teammates because they get angry and mad. You know how many great employees right now that the best leaders have lost because of their anger? They kill their fate because of their anger. It's all your mind. Dude, listen, I'm telling you, dude, if it shouldn't matter five years from now, it shouldn't matter five minutes from now. And by the way, when you, when you build this new mind, you can get in fights very quick, and then five minutes later, the fight never happened. So like me and Jackie, we fight a lot. And you may say, oh man, that's crazy. No, we love each other so much, we hold each other to such a high standard that when we're fighting, like it goes like this, like, like, like she's like, Andy, I told you not to, and I don't cut her off. I'm like, okay, like she's got something to say, she needs, she needs, I need to hear everything she has. And guess what? Boom, she'll hit me with it. And then when I'm done, I'm like, hey, thank you for telling me that. Number one, I didn't mean to hurt you. I wasn't trying to, to break anything. I understand where you're coming from, and I'll change. I got it. Dude, listen, first of all, you're everything to me. You're the last person I'd ever want to hurt, so I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're done. It, 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 it's we're done. Our kids, they walk by, they hear us fighting. They know five minutes later, the fight's over. Five minutes later, we're laughing, we're joking around, we're playing, we're swimming in the pool, we're working, we're going on a vacation, we're doing something. It's gone. We hold zero grudges. Dude, I'm telling you, you guys got to get this thing under control because if you don't, you won't make it. But the greatest thing that you'll ever have in, the, your greatest weapon is your mind. The way that you guys think in this room right now, listen, do you think that you can change every person's life that you run into? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, the answer is you can. Can you change every weakness in your life right now? Can, but, but will you? You say you will, but you haven't yet. You guys still have weaknesses. You guys still have problems. You guys still have things. And you say, yeah, we'll always have that. Don't cop out with that shit. Look, dude, if you want to solve everyone else's problem in this world and you want to be the leader to everybody, remember, people will choose their mentor over money. You guys want to build an army? Become the mentor. You, you, dude, you, you want your wife to look up to you, admire you? You want... You, you want people to back you on a vision? Be something they've never seen, ever. Dude, and listen, people don't care if you have money anymore. See, here's what I've learned. You can have a private jet, 100 million cash in the bank, they don't give a fuck. Do they want to be like you? Hey guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you made it to the end, you're the true one percenter. Now, as I said earlier, if you wanna get close to me, guys, go down and click the link below. There's gonna be an opportunity for you to answer some questions and I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. What you just saw is a day in the life of me. I don't post a lot of my personal life every day. I post a bunch of clips of me going on stage, me training, me doing things. And today I just wanted to show you a little bit about how we roll, wake up, do the cold plunge, work out, spend time for people that travel in to recreate and change your life. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Let's kill it.